Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful yellow peony flower fairy. If you are new to my channel and new to making flower fairies, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out so much. And if you enjoy this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up. I'll actually be using the supplies from one of my flower fairy kits. Um, so if you purchase a kit, I hope this tutorial uh, is helpful in helping you just figure out some different ways to style your doll. And if you have your own flower fairy supplies, I hope you get some inspiration from this. Let's grab some supplies and get started. This is my yellow peony flower fairy kit that I uh, launched a few weeks ago in my Etsy shop. There will be a link to my shop below. The kit comes in two different ways. You can either get it just with an individual flower, which is what we'll be using, or you can get the kit that has all three flowers. This is my favorite version because it gives you so many different options on how to style your doll. And once again, if you have your own supplies, I hope you find some fun inspiration from this tutorial. So. In the kit, you receive everything you need to make a flower fairy doll, including the wooden bead, the floral wire, embroidery floss for the skin, and um, there are three different choices for skin, and the thread will match the bead, and then a hair color, and there are four different colors of hair to pick from. And I teach you exactly how to take those supplies and twist them into this beautiful little flower fairy. Now you can see I've already styled her hair. Um, I have a lot of tutorials on my channel on different fairy hairstyles. Uh, you can obviously style her hair however you'd like. This is a braided updo and it's one of my favorites. Here is the beautiful flower you get in this kit. The second I saw this, I knew I had to make a fairy with it. It's so beautiful. I love the creamy yellow and the, the little bit darker yellow. I love all the fluffy layers. This makes the most gorgeous fairy skirt. And then I have some thread that matches the flower we'll be dressing our doll in. The kit comes with this gorgeous yellow and iridescent uh, glitter blend. I hand select all of the glitter that's in this and there are little tiny yellow flowers in this glitter that are so pretty. And then I have this beautiful yellow iridescent crystal and this honestly doesn't do uh, justice to how beautiful this crystal is. I have some E6000 glue and a toothpick to apply the crystal. I have uh, some Mod Podge or any kind of craft glue will work and a paintbrush to apply our glitter. And then of course I have some sharp scissors and then my trusty glue gun set on low. I like using a low temperature glue gun because it's easier to work with the glue. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to grab that creamy yellow thread and I'm going to wrap it right around her waist up to underneath her arms and give her a pair of shorts. I have a very basics playlist that will be linked below that takes you through each one of these steps. So after she's dressed, I'm going to set her aside and I'm going to pull apart this flower and look at all of those beautiful fluffy layers. Then I start to layer the petals uh, together in different ways. The fun thing about this flower is you can put the longer petals on the top and the fluffier ones underneath and get a completely different look than what I'm doing. Um, I'm putting the smaller layers on top to make it really ruffly on top. When I'm choosing the petals, I always check to see if any of them are fraying, and if they are, I just grab my scissors and I trim that part off. This will give you a really beautiful skirt. Then I take my petals and I'm going to fold them in half and cut an X into the center of each uh, layer of petals. This will allow us to slide the petals up and around our fairy's waist. And I repeat that with all of the layers and then I'm going to grab my fairy doll and I'm going to slide those petals up and around her waist starting with the top layers of her dress. And for some reason I feel like I always make this part look really awkward and I'm just kind of arranging those petals as I go. And you guys look at how gorgeous this skirt is. It's so pretty. So then I'm going to grab my glue gun and I'm going to put tiny dabs of glue in between each layer to attach the skirt to the fairy. And once again, all of these steps are broken down in a playlist below. And this is the gorgeous skirt we have for this fairy. And it's just so princessy. I love it. 
Now I'm going to grab my thread and I'm going to give her a pair of shoes. Now I'm using the light yellow that comes with the yellow peony kit, but if you get the kit that comes with all three fairies, I think this purple would also be super cute to do for shoes for this fairy um, and also gloves. And yes, there's a gloves and shoes tutorial listed below in the description of the video. So you've got these cute yellow shoes. Um, it would also be really fun to give her yellow gloves. And now we're going to add our glitter. So I've got my Mod Podge, my glitter pack that I just poured into this little container and I have a paintbrush and I laid down a piece of paper to catch the glitter and I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and I'm going to add a nice thick layer of glue right around her waist. Because this glitter has bigger pieces in it, I like to make sure that I have a lot of glitter so it holds that, or a lot of glue so it holds that glitter in place. So I'm just adding a nice layer of that glue and then I take the glitter and I sprinkle it over the glue and then I use my fingertips to tap it into the glue and then I'm going to lightly tap off the excess and I go back and add more glitter if I feel like she needs it. And here's a close up of those little tiny yellow flowers. Aren't they so cute? I just think it adds such a fun element to this doll. Then I decided to add some glitter to the tips of the petals and you can do this in two different ways. You can either take the paintbrush and put a little bit of glue just on the ends of the petals or um, you can just dip the petals in the glue and then dip them in the glitter. So I went and did this around the bottom of all of the petals and I cannot believe how gorgeous this turned out. She's so pretty. I love how subtle the glitter is also where it's a light yellow and kind of iridescent. It just adds such a beautiful element to this fairy. The last thing we're going to do is grab the crystal and I've got my E6000 glue on my toothpick and this is the crystal that comes in the little packet and I'm going to take a little bit of the glue and put it right up at the top of her dress. I think it would also be pretty to add this um, crystal to her hair would be another fun way to use it. So I'm just putting that glue right at the top and then I grab the crystal that always likes to be difficult and I'm just pressing that gently into the top of her dress. And the reason I use this glue is it just holds the crystal down better. Um, but you could also use craft glue for this part if you wanted. And then I decided to take that little piece of the inside part of the flower. Instead of throwing that away, you can use it. I just cut off a little tiny piece. I'm taking that same toothpick. I'm adding a little bit of craft glue and I'm sprinkling a little bit of that glitter over it. I didn't wanna cover it up too much because I like the texture that um, is in the center of the flower. I thought it, it just looked really pretty. And then I am grabbing my E6000 glue, putting some in her hair and adding that little embellishment to the top of her hair. And that's it guys, what do you think? She kind of reminds me of Belle from Disney. I just think she's so elegant and so beautiful. And my favorite part of this fairy is absolutely that glitter around the ends of the petals. I think it just makes this doll go from beautiful to absolutely stunning. Here is another fairy I made with the same kit. Like I said, the kit is super customizable. There are different ways you can do it, different hair colors and different skin tones you can pick from. If you're interested in purchasing a kit, you'll find a link below to my Etsy shop. If you're already making fairies with your own supplies, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your constant support. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And with that said, we'll see you next time.